Hi everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA here. Okay, today I'm going to focus on the shape map visual. I just want to show you some of the things you got to consider, some of the uh, things you can adjust to it, um, and how you can effectively utilize it in a um, you know, compelling report and dashboard, because that's what it's all about at the end of the day, right? Um, now, to, in my view, if you if you can utilize it, I, I think it's the best uh, map or spatial visualization. But unfortunately, there is just not um, the capability to do that for every single um, area of the world or, or, or city or country, etc. at the moment. It's only set up for a, f a few different regions. But if you uh, do uh, base on those regions uh, and analyze, uh, analyzing those regions from a visualization perspective, I love it. I think it's the best visualization out there. Now, what we're looking at here is, is, is actually a, re a report and uh, that I went through, I, I created and, and went through for um, as part of the Enterprise DNA webinar series. Now, it was all about effective Power BI reporting. And so what I'll do, I'll leave a link uh, below in the description to the entire session. Um, and certainly check it out if you want to um, understand how I developed a lot of things within this model. And the biggest thing was actually, you know, dynamic, a way you can dynamically create visualizations. So I'll just show you quickly. But what you can do is you can click through, say I, I've set this model up to dynamically change for any um, metric that I select, right? So I've got revenue, I've got costs, and I've got profits, and everything in my report will change based on the selection I've made there. So we might be in a meeting and we might want to analyze our revenue, but then very quickly we might want to analyze our profits, you know, and see if there's any differences or deviations, etc. And so that's a really cool technique I go through. But in this case, we're, we're, we're dealing with the shape map visual. Now, the shape map visual is, is located in the visualization pane, which is great. So it's not a custom visualization, which comes with a number of issues um, uh, at the moment. It is actually a built-in, so you know that Microsoft have tested it and it works, and it does work, which is great. Um, so, uh, so all you got to do is select that versus obviously the other ones that um, uh, that are made available. Um, now, what you've got to have a look in behind here, though, is um, if we look at the map here, what you can do is you can change this map to any of these different. Um, shapes or, 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 or countries in this case. So unfortunately, there's only a few, right? So um, so it's not going to suit everyone. But if you are based in the US, right, and you sell throughout the US, it's perfect in mean, Australia, um, Canada, France, Germany, etc. So obviously, it covers a lot of key centers. It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, you know, it doesn't cover New Zealand, which is unfortunate, which is where I'm from. Um, but hopefully, in the future, it will. I mean, there, there is. I, I do. I do believe there is a way that you can um, ultimately do it. But in this case, um, you've got to use. I use. I just use the standard ones because I know that they're already sort of um, been tested, work work well on all different devices, etc. Okay, so what you've got to do in that case is you see here that you've got states. You've got states here. So if you, in your data, what you want to do to, to try and prevent any issues is you want to try and create a column or dimension that has states in it. And then that's going to make your life so much easier. So much easier, right? And if you can do that, all you could do is drag it in and then all of a sudden you've got this great visualization which interacts with um, the rest of your report. Now, what I really love is the way that you can interact, right? So you can, um, you can click on certain states and visually it just looks so much better so much more compelling right and so you can click around through all these different states and in this case it um, filters it filters the rest of the report but another technique you can utilize and I really love the zoom here um, the zoom feature is that so I've broken out I've created regional groups right and so I've got my um, I've got Central America and it dives into Central America, and then I've added these tool tips in there, so a really good way to extract insight from all the different states in, in a particular region. I could jump down to, um, jump over to the west, uh, western US, um, eastern US, etc. And so, you know, from a visual impact perspective, I think it's just effective, really effective. And you can layer in some of the other other great features of um, of, of Power BI development as well. And I think tooltips is one of those. And so you see here that um, when I select the visualization, you've got a number of tooltips down here. And so you can expand it obviously as well. You know, different colors looks great. So anyway, so the, the key thing is there's really effective visualization, right? And all you've got to do is, it's so, it's so easy, it's so simple. It's, it's a matter of selecting the shape map visual, going to shape, and then selecting the shape that you actually want to um, you, you want to showcase that. And you've actually got a few elements here. I mean, you can actually change the, um, the way that it showcases as well. Uh, and you, you can turn on the zoom, um, off the zoom. So, you know, lots of different ways that you can uh, alter 
alter the visualization of, of that particular shape map. But it, it, um, it, it, I guess the real reason I love it is because it really, it really um, sits within the report well. You know, the, 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 there's, there's quite a big difference in my view then if you change it over to say, um, you know, a visualization like that. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it doesn't integrate as well into the report, right? Then if you actually um, can utilize, you know, the shape map, um, obviously I'm going to have to change the colors again, but you know the shape map allows you to, um, and, you know, just allows for a better visualization. Okay, so that's enough uh, about that. Relatively simple today. Nothing, nothing too complex, but um, certainly you know there's some some massive positives, uh, in uh, utilizing the shape map feature there um, in your visualizations. So hopefully I uh, convinced you, convinced you to explore it if you, if you can use it. Now, I'll, um, no, I, as I mentioned at the start, I covered a lot in a full workshop around this. So I'll leave it a link to that in the description below. Uh, lots of different techniques around how to build Power BI models, how to set up your models well, how to incorporate these dynamic um, visualizations inside your reports, which is, which is seriously one of the most effective Power BI development techniques. So I'll leave a link to that in the description. And if you actually want to um, view this one and play, play around with it yourself, you can in the um, in the showcase page of Enterprise DNA. So I'll just show you here, uh, I've got this. So there's a lot of different showcases here just to inspire you about what you can do with Power BI. Um, but this particular one, you can actually utilize it. You can actually play around with it. Um, and if you want to purchase these, you, you also can. So you, if you want to actually download the, you know, find the resource and be able to play around with it and, and see exactly how I've developed the entire thing along with all these other ones, um, you know, uh, have a look into Enterprise DNA membership because I make all of these available for Enterprise DNA members um, and um, yeah, there's a, a, a lot of benefits for members. I, I, I stack a whole lot of stuff um, in the end. And so um, including this, so certainly if you are looking to really master Power BI, that's something to explore further. Okay, so if you um, you like the content and you can throw us a like on the video, really appreciate it. Um, and certainly subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Plenty of Power BI content coming out in the uh, very near future. Okay, all the best.